My name is Peggy McNamara. I live in Ashford. And um, the way I got involved is my husband and I moved here full time a year and a half ago. And there was a, an email that had come out um, asking for volunteers to do social surveys. You know, it's like hike for a purpose, I think is what it was called. Uh, I immediately responded and said, hey, that would be great because I was looking for uh, the ability to be able to hike and to be able to hike solo and feel safe doing that. That's the beautiful thing about doing this rule is that it allows me to get to know the park in a way I wouldn't otherwise, you know? I have an app on my phone, and uh, when I pass people on the trail, I click the app. I mean, that's really about it. Good morning. Good morning. Can you get by there? Yeah. All right. That's all there is to it. Cool. <laughs> and, and then the data is just uploaded into an Excel spreadsheet, and um, I email it to her then at the end of the day. That, it's just that one right oh, okay. there. That's my grandson. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mount Rainier National Park needs to and wants to be able to provide solitude to people who come and visit it. So that's what the data from each one of these hikes does. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. The task itself is very simple. <laughs> it's, it's the hikes that that can be challenging, but it's great, it's beautiful. I mean, I don't have, I haven't run into any emergency situation where I had to get involved and help with triage or anything like that. It's more been, it's more been the wildlife that you kind of see and you run across. What's that white thing across the way? See that right on top? Oh my God. I saw it move. I thought I did. Yeah, that's a goat. That's what I thought. Oh my gosh. See, there you go. You know, I, I am so enamored with this park. I, I, it's funny, I kind of take ownership of the mountain. I tell people it's my mountain, you know? Right. And, um, but, but doing these hikes, and this is gonna sound cheesy, but it's truth. Doing these hikes, um, I have a greater appreciation for the park, but, but even more so, I have a greater appreciation for the people who work in the park. Because I see all that they deal with, I hear it on the radio, you know, just all the calls and all the stuff, and I know that, that of course, there's not enough staff to do everything that is needed, but, but really great people you know, out here, but this park is just, it's a treasure. I would say if you are thinking about volunteering, please do it. <laughs> so, because the park needs help. I mean, there's, there's just a lot of areas, you know, that they need, they just need good people to come help with.